right, what is up University? Bob here. Hey, sorry for the late start of the review of the DSH Heavy. Uh, my daughter actually was walking into her restroom and uh, smashed her toe into uh, the corner of the wall and it actually is broken. The toe is broken in half. It's a pretty bad break. And uh, anyways, that's for another story. She's gonna need to go see an orthopedic surgeon, probably get a pin inserted and we'll deal with that tomorrow. But uh, able to get on here now. Um, sorry for not putting a, a time frame out for this for everybody to come on here live, but it's all good. Who's ever here is here, who's ever not here is fine. They can review it later. But anyways, what we're gonna do tonight is de uh, discuss the DA, uh, DSH Heavy from Russia. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me about doing a live on this um, pipe. I've had the pipe for over, oh, probably two years now. And uh, it's basically the same pipe as uh, what Hookah John is on right now. Maybe the logo is slightly different because, again, this is mine is about two years old, but the same exact pipe. And people have asked about it. So let's go ahead and discuss uh, the, this, uh, the DSH Heavy. So uh, anyways, uh, let me turn the camera around and uh, we can take a look. Stan, how are you? Uh, let's see. Met me. Hello. So grab the camera here and uh, let me show you what the... Uh, where the parts we got here. All right, so we've got um, in the box right there is uh, the um, molasses catcher, okay? And this is the threaded one that will fit this hookah, and we'll go over that in a minute. So that's what the box is. Uh, inside the box, I have uh, the uh, bowl port in there right now, but we'll take a look at that. We've got the heart, we've got the two up stems, the down stem, um, we have um, the, uh, the down stem, um, let's see, the base is an Eggerman base, which I purchased separately, so, uh, and then we've got the tray, and uh, I've already packed a bowl to save some time. So let me set the camera down, and then we'll go over the parts one by one, and uh, we can discuss everything, switch the camera around. Hey, Ali, how are you? All right, uh, so, like I said, I bought this pipe a while ago. Um, I don't know if have the current uh, price specs on it right now. Go to hookahjohn.com. He's the man for DS, uh, for the DSH Heavy. Hookahjohn.com. So go check him out if you want one. And I believe he's got them in, in stock right now. All right, so let's start off uh, with the tray. Basic, kind of generic stainless steel tray. It's not very heavy, uh, but it's very durable and uh, very nice very nice tray. Uh, so basic tray that you see on a lot of uh, Russian pipes. Uh, next, we've got the heart, okay? And uh, heart, super heavy, stainless steel, okay? And um, actually, let me take this off so you can see the grommet and then see the whole thing, all right? So that is your heart, okay? Very well machined, okay? And uh, the, uh, this is uh, for your hose port, right? It's a slide, which is kind of nice. You put this into your hose and it just slides right in. No grommet required, all right? Um, for your um, purge port here, it's threaded, okay? It comes out, comes with one purge ball, as you can see. That's how that goes in. Just drop it in and uh, then screw it back on. And it's just, uh, one set of holes right in the very front, nothing uh, circular around the sides, just right in the very front, okay? Works really, really good. Let's put this back on. All right. I'll tell you what, while we're discussing this, we should probably get some coals going so we don't have to wait too long anyways. Let's see, all right, so we've got the uh, base grommet on there now. And, um, so uh, let's continue here. We'll build it as we go along, all right? So you've got two parts for the uh, up stem, okay? They thread together. Now the cool thing about this pipe, which I'm gonna show you right now, is you can make this a small pipe or you can make it the normal size, right? You screw this together right now. And uh, hey, Tanner, how are you? Peter, how are you? Um, see, that goes together and then you just screw this onto your heart. But what is really cool is you can make this a small pipe if you want it. And I'm going to show you that in just a second, all right? So here's your up stem here, right? And uh, put this here for a second. 
Let me uh, show you also, just so you know what it is, but I'm going to be using the threaded uh, DSH molasses catcher. This is the actual uh, uh, bowl port, okay? So this port would go on like this, all right? And we'll basic bowl port, very, very heavy quality, and it's very, very thick, okay? So it looks like that, but we're not gonna be using this today, all right? This is put away, and we're gonna be using uh, the, DS, uh, the DSH um, threaded molasses catcher that actually fits right into the hole. So let's put this back on here, and we'll thread this on. Look at how easy that is, isn't that nice? Beautiful, right? See how easy that is? This, this thing goes together really, really nice. It's very heavy, good quality. Now, let me show you what I was talking about. We could take the hookah part, right? You wanna to go to a smaller pipe. Take this off, right? Put this down. And um, anyways, I'm just gonna take off the molasses catcher. I'm gonna show you this. Okay, so now this goes here. Now you got a baby DSH, right? So and this is your uh, down stem, right? It just threads right on here. I'm gonna show you that. Really heavy, heavy quality again as well. The threading on this is very uh, well uh, done. So it's machined very well. Um, no issues anywhere on this pipe as far as any of the threads. And so see, now you can have a baby DSH if you really wanna go small or you want to do the normal size, you put the, the, the two parts together. Um, before I put it back together, I want to show you, this has a, um, uh, here we go, this is threaded as well, right? So, um, it's got, only got two sets of holes. I, you know, a lot of the, um, a lot of pipes you see nowadays have uh, either uh, one small set on a larger disc on the bottom, and a hole in the middle, or this one is completely open on the bottom. This one has two sets of holes all the way around, and I've seen some where they have three and four sets of holes, you know, and then you can use a slide up and down. But this is um, a fixed diffuser, you know, meaning that once you put it on there, um, you set the water level to how, if you want it over the diffuser or not. Now, my water level is gonna be just, just above the, uh, the top of the threading here of the diffuser. So we're talking a quarter of an inch over top of where the diffuser is threaded into the down stem. So um, Tanner says, also a very open drawer. Very, very true. Uh, yeah, uh, for, for the price point, this is, I mean, you can't really get better than this hookah. If you want a nice pipe that's gonna last you forever from Russia, um, this is one I would totally go for. And I believe uh, Hookah John has them in stock right now. And, you know, the fact that you can make it a bigger hookah or you know, or make it the normal size, which is what I'm doing right now, and shorten it if you want it shorter, you can do that. And I've even seen a picture where um, Travis somehow made it even shorter than what I showed you. So I, I remember seeing that. So uh, this goes on. Oh, before I put that back on, let me show you the diffuser, okay? The diffuser comes in this box, right? You can buy this DSH, a threaded killer, okay, for this pipe. Uh, let me just show you this. I think I've showed this on my molasses catcher review, but I want to show you now. Um, lots of uh, space for the juice. The center comes out here, right, for cleaning, really easy. It's, and um, as you can see, it's got an O-ring there to help uh, uh, seal the juices from not dripping down the, uh, the opening of the stem there. Uh, and uh, just slide it in there and this screws on. Pretty easy peasy, right? Super easy. So um, let's put this back together and let's go put some coals on. And then while the coals are going, we'll go pick out a hose together. All right. So that's it. Now let me uh, turn the camera and see what is, we got some. Uh, Fire says, hey Bob, hope you're well. Hey, how are you brother? Israel, thank you. Michael, how are you? Uh, there's a lot of people on here right now. Sorry if I'm not, if you got any questions and I missed it, I'll get, I'll get through them, I promise. All right, so, all right. Let's uh, go throw the coals on, and then um, after we throw the coals on, I'll put this in the base and we'll go pick a pipe. So what I've got going right now, let's see, we're just gonna use, uh, let's see, we're gonna use three flats. So I'm gonna be smoking some Tangiers. And, uh, all right. 
let's put that there. Turn on the fan, speed things up. Let's turn it on high. All right. So, let's flip the camera around to me. All right. So, let's get this, uh, I'm gonna face the camera so y'all can see it, hopefully. Well, uh, let's put this together into the base. All right, and we'll put the camera down there. All right. So, uh, one thing that I always do when I'm putting in the base is make sure that take a take some water. I wet my fingers here, put it on here, makes it go in nice and easy into your base. Okay, so let's put this around here like this, and make sure we're in. And All right, that should do it. Let's see. All right, so that's the pretty, pretty pipe, right? All right, I think it's got to be tilted back just a little bit. There we go. All right, so put the grommet up here, and I've already, has, I've already packed uh, some tangiers, and um, we'll be ready to go. I just got to go get, uh, get a hose. I think we did the water level pretty good. Let me see, because I kind of guessed I've done this before. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We'll take a tug on it and we'll find out. All right. All right. It says, somebody says, where did I get, where did I get that base? I love it, Hank says. Uh, actually, I got that from Eggerman uh, overseas in Germany. So uh, I got in a bunch of bases to, uh, at one time uh, with another friend here online. We bought a bunch together and had them shipped over. So that was really cool. All right. So now, man, let me... I, Guys, I've got more hoses upon hoses, upon hoses, uh, upon hoses, upon hoses. So, trying to figure out which one to use, right? I know. It's uh, always always a game here, um, which hose to use. All right, so um, let's see what I'm going to use tonight. You know what? I'm going to just use my, uh, let's see, let's, I'm going to use this Moses Hoses hose. And with a with a with a glass pipe from Aon, I like that. I like smoking with glass. Glass is good. Love glass. All right. So let me get the hose poured out here. Let's get this going here. Hey, Paul, how are you? Made it back from the urgent care. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later about that. But uh, my daughter is okay, thank God. But probably gonna need to have a steel pin put in her toe because her toe is broken in half. I mean, the top portion of the toe no longer connected to the bottom portion of the toe. All right, so put this in here, just like that, and put it in here. Let me just take a quick pull, make sure the water level's okay. Perfect. All right, well, let's take a look again at what we're looking at. All right, so there she is, right? Very pretty. And you know the base, uh, the platinum base there, it looks really, really nice with this pipe. And um, yeah, Paul, it is. So uh, they actually, it was broken, but they still had to uh, fill the toe with lidocaine and then actually pull the toe straight. Freaked me out, but that's for another story. <laughs> but anyways, so uh, let's go check our coals and uh, hopefully get smoking here in a few minutes. So, uh, what am I smoking as far as, if you guys are wondering, alright, let me turn the camera back around. Uh, I have uh, some cane mint, and what else did I put in here? I know, I forgot right here. Uh, Summer Resort. So, smoking uh, uh, number 22, the Noir Summer Resort, and uh, number 96A Alpha Cane Mint. So, those are the two mixes today. And I went 50-50 on the ratio on that right now. And uh, see, coals are almost ready to be flipped. So, <laughs> yeah, that made my curl. <laughs> that made me curl my toes. Oh, dude, it was it was not fun. It was not fun. I'll I'll send you a picture of her X-ray later uh, later to the admin mod group, and you'll take a look at it. It's pretty nasty. But uh, yeah, my hair is long, guys. I need a haircut. I'm going tomorrow. But yeah, it looks short, right? But no, it's it. This is really long for me. But uh, ah, Paul says beautiful mix. Thank you, brother. So, um, yeah, it's been, it's been crazy. I was like, I was at the gun range today and uh, had a lesson uh, with my instructor. I'm trying to get, get my shooting skills up to, up to par. And I have another one tomorrow. And uh, 
get my fingerprints done tomorrow. It's the last part of my concealed carry license. And after tomorrow, now and then it's just a waiting game from the Texas uh, department uh, to send me my uh, concealed carry license. So that would be cool. Let's see, what are the questions? Uh, sweet, uh, Paul says, sweet cucumber water with a splash of mint. Delicious. Ooh, that sounds really good, Paul. All right. Anthony, how are you? Let's see. Okay, I'm going to see. flip these babies. We're almost there. I guess I could have packed a bowl with you guys since we're waiting on coals anyways, right? You know, this, um, this pipe is just so easy to take care of and... Um, and maintain and and put together it's just it's really a really great pipe um, everybody owns one loves it I don't think I've met a person that says I really don't like my DSH you know but uh, it's definitely a great pipe as you can see it's super easy to clean comes apart in the sections and just rinse hot water through it and uh, do the little sniff check that I call it just put it up to your nose after you're done rinsing it with hot water if it smells like metal it's clean that's it super easy right so um, Let's see, what other questions we got? Uh, I wish I could tell you what the pr current price is of the DSH Heavy on hookahjohn.com right now. I don't have that information. I apologize. I don't know what he's selling it for right now. But it's definitely, definitely uh, a pipe to, uh, to put in your collection, especially if you're looking to upgrade to a Russian pipe. And um, very good pipe. Let's see, Matt Pair is like uh, breathing. DSH has a pop. It's not as big as pop like Pharaoh one, but between those two pipes, absolutely agree with you, Paul. Totally agree. So, but uh, yeah, I, I, I love the DSH, and uh, it was really one of my first uh, Russian pipes um, that that made me fall in love with Russian pipes. Uh, was the DSH when I got that? I actually got the DSH and the uh, Mexanica at the same exact time. Uh, and, uh, they both came together. I, I had gotten my DSH and, um, my Mexanica from hookahrussia.com because everybody was out of stock when I, when I got mine. Nobody had them in the States. So I had to go over and buy from Russia. It took a long time to get them. And, um, uh, uh, price wise, maybe it was a little bit cheaper buying it for Russia, but I, I, I had to wait two months to get it. That's the, always the drawback when you're buying directly from Russia is the wait time. But, uh, I'm pretty sure John's got them in stock. Go look at them, and uh, I would definitely jump on it. So we are ready. Look at this. Remember with your with your with your coals, make sure they're glowing cherry red. Don't take them off when they're not, because you just they're probably gonna you know with flats, especially uh, they tend to um, uh, sometimes black out if they're not lit all the way, uh, especially when you're smoking tangiers. So uh, make sure your coals are, are cherry red when you put them on, guys and gals. So, all right. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the Provost today on top of an 80-foot bowl. And uh, I should have, you know what, I should have brought out my green 80-foot bowl since uh, Travis was talking about it, you know, one of the original ones. So I think uh, I was going to, I should have brought that one out since that's been talked about recently. And I know Puka John actually did a live and sent one to Travis for him to keep or, or give out to the, someone to the community. But anyways... All right, so we're going to use, make sure. Yeah, we're going good. All right, so we are all in, ready to go. And I'm just going to put the lid on just a little bit to just help it get started a little bit quicker, and then I can take it off, all right? So let's take a quick peek at this beautiful pipe before we get smoking it again. All right, really nice. Put the camera down. What questions we got going on here now? I can sit and relax. Let's see, bring this in a little bit closer and then we'll, we'll show you how it purges here in a minute too. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Hank says, 179 and Hookah John. Thank you, Hank. Appreciate you, my brother. Uh, yeah, 179, uh, very good, very good deal. And I believe the price that you give it, uh, Hank, is without the Hookah John 15% off, uh, right? HJ15. So take 15% off of that and you'll get free shipping. So it's a really good deal. So, um, all this is interesting, Paul, what makes them different is the size of the opening on the bottom. Uh, you know, Ali, I, it's hard to tell what makes certain pipes more restricted than others. Uh, some is the down, opening of the downstem, some is the diffuser. 
uh, it's really hard to tell. Um, that pair is wide open. It is a very good pipe. It is very wide open. Um, DSH is is still an open pipe, but a little bit more on a little bit more restricted. And I'm using that term loosely. It's not a restricted pipe at all. But you can actually, when you when you take a draw, you're gonna feel. Uh, you know you're smoking a hookah. I guess that's how Paul and I usually say it. I like to feel that I'm smoking a hookah, not just air, right? All right, so let's take a pull, see what we got going on. Clouds right away, right? Let's take a look at this. All right, for me, it took two full breaths, emptied the base out. I'll try again. I'm just a light-winded guy. Some people, I'm sure uh, people like Jeremy and stuff could get that out with one breath, but I'll take another draw again. Let's get some more smoke in there. Completely emptied in two. About 80% empty with one breath, right? So, purge straight out like that. Looks really neat, right? So, I'm going to take the lid off now. I don't need to scorch my tobacco. Let's fix that a little bit. And uh, there she is. So, um, yeah, it's, it's solidly built. It's beautifully, uh, beautiful aesthetically, right? As you can see. Now, like I said, I have an older model. I believe they changed the logo. Um, as you can see, my logo is just a basic like block letters. And I believe the new logo looks like what's on this box now on, on the DSH. I could be wrong, but uh, I know mine is almost two years, is probably two years old now. So that's why the, the, the logo may be a little bit different. But um, yeah, let's see. Let's get some more clouds going here. Anybody else smoking? Let's see. Uh, Paul said cord half inch above the diffuser for me. Yeah, uh, that's how that's what I got going on right now, and that's what I said, Paul, in the beginning. I was doing about a quarter inch above the diffuser. So, hello, Dennis. Dennis says awesome looking pipe. I wish the blow off was a bit better. Um, combine Mexanica blow off speed with DSH quality aesthetics. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by the blow off. You mean when I when I go ahead and I purge? You mean uh, that it would purge with one breath? It probably will purge with one breath. It just um, uh, it just me. I'm just I'm a small guy with small lungs, <laughs> so I, I it takes me two breaths. But you know I have I have many pipes that I cannot take the smoke out of the base at all. It doesn't bother me honestly. So. So again, uh, Hank filled me in that um, 179 plus your HJ15 discount hookah john and free shipping. It's a really good deal for this pipe. Uh, Hank says on mine you can spin the diffuser and close the holes if you want some pop. Oh wow, okay. See, there have been some upgrades on the DSH prop heavy since I got mine two years ago. So obviously you they have an adjustable uh, diffuser now. Uh, I don't. I have a fixed diffuser still works great for me so they've made some nice upgrades on this pipe since i got it you know two years ago um uh have you gotten the rasbo bob no i have not i i you know life has been so busy between um uh getting into the guns and going to the range and getting my concealed carry license and kids and i haven't been doing much shopping but yes i am gonna get the rasbo it's on my it's on my on my list for sure I, I've heard so, a lot of you guys talking about how good that bowl is. I like the aesthetics of it, too. Which hose is that? All right, this is a uh, custom leather hose by Derek Moses of Moses Hoses. And uh, this is a, a glass handle that is made from Aon. And uh, if you can see that. So it's made from Aon. I like glass handles. They're light. Uh, on top of that... Um, there's a nice feel in your mouth when you're smoking with uh, glass over metal uh, or even wood. 
Uh, this is my favorite way to smoke is with glass. And when I'm not using glass, I'm typically using stainless steel or one of my Resin King's uh, uh, resin uh, tipped uh, handles. But I really love glass. Smoking with glass is my favorite way to smoke. Yeah, ammo prices are nuts. And in fact, my range just went up. I was able to buy range ammo, uh, a box of 50 was $15.95 plus I'm a pro member and I got 5% off of that two days ago. I went in today and now it's $20 for a box of 50. And these to allow us to buy five boxes, now I can only buy three, so it's crazy. But it's the world we live in right now, folks. It's, it's insane. Uh, I also have an AR, and um, the AR, uh, the 5.56 five, and the two two threes are cheaper than 9 millimeters right now. So a box, um, a box of 20 5.56s five, right now going about 50, 50 cents a bullet. So where the 9s are close to pushing close to 80 cents to a dollar a bullet for home defense ones. I'm not shooting until 2021. That's pretty funny. So y'all have any more questions of this pipe? Or anything else you want to ask me? I know it's been a while since I was able to do a live. Uh, sorry about that. I'm trying to do more here. It's just been, been nuts, you know, with uh, with things going on at home and everything else I got going on. Hard to find, 556. Yeah, gun broker. You know, gunbroker.com is the place I go. It's like an e the eBay of... of uh, for ammunition and and uh, and guns. Where can you buy this hose? Uh, you can buy this leather hose uh, at uh, at MosesHoses.com, and uh, you can hit up Derek Moses on Messenger, and he may be able to. Uh, he can do a custom hose, any colors you want. He can do painting and stuff. Let me show you. So, since you're interested, I've got quite a few. I've got. 15 of his hoses. Let me show you some of the things that he's done. Uh, he's done my Smoking with Bob logo with my face on it. I've got uh, a Dark Matter. You can put the Dark Matter logo. Uh, I have a BMW one, which is really cool. And he did the BMW logo. So let me show you that for my 640i. So he could do all kinds of custom work. So uh, if you've got, you know, something you got your you want to have done, uh, Derek can put whatever he wants on a, a leather hose for you. He can custom uh, paint it on there. Or if you want just a straight colored leather hose with different color threading. What he did for me on my BMW hoses, you know, the BMWs have the three color schemes. And he threaded it with all three colors. So going down the hose, it uh, starts with one color to another color to another color. You know, so you got the two different blues and the red, which is really, really cool. So, um... Derek is amazing. His sister and him do an amazing job with, with leather hoses. And they're gonna, you know, a custom leather hose uh, is gonna run you probably about 125 to 150 bucks, depending on what you have done. Now, if you go crazy, you want like splatter paint colors on there, you're gonna be probably even higher than that. Uh, but he, he, he backs his stuff up with a really good warranty. If you ever have an issue, you ship it back to him, he'll fix it and send it right back to you. No problem with that. I uh, love your collection, man. Good stuff. Sure. Yeah, Hank says he's a great dude, too. Absolutely. Derek is a man. Oh, I needed this after spending the last two and a half hours in the uh, ER at the urgent care facility. So it was crazy. Good to be here and relaxing right now. I just picked up a, a new handgun today, or yesterday actually, I picked up the new Glock 48 MOS that's optic ready. Uh, that came out only two months ago from Glock. Uh, pretty amazing weapon, In, almost impossible to get. I paid 120 over list on Gun Broker, but I didn't care because I wanted it. Uh, is your daughter walking around okay, Hank says. Uh, she's on crutches, um, her toe is broken in half. Uh, completely apart, so they they lidocaine it to numb it. Then they well, they didn't really numb it much. She screamed, and they had to pull it, put it together, and then tape two toes together. But that's all they can do right now. And she's got to go see an orthopedic surgeon 
in the next day or two and most likely they're gonna have to put a pin in her toe to set it so because the bone is not gonna stay together it just keeps coming apart so that's a problem oh, gotta love it she was only she only came in town from college until Saturday because she goes to the University of Arkansas so uh, she uh, came she came in yesterday to stay till Saturday and then she's going back I don't think she's gonna be able to go back until sometime next week because uh, because we got to see the surgeon now uh, what happened she, <laughs> She's clumsy, my daughter. She's always falling downstairs and doing something. She was just walking around her bed into the bathroom in her bedroom, because she's got a bathroom in her bedroom, and she snagged her toe right into the corner of the wall. God only knows. She was probably FaceTiming somebody and you know, and wasn't paying attention, and she hit it hard. So it is what it is, life with kids, right? But uh, you know, thank God she's, she's, she's in a lot of pain right now, but she's got a big exam tomorrow, so she's studying right now. She's a biology major, wants to be a doctor, so. Oh, when they were there, they, my daughter asked if she could set her own toe. So the doctor said, okay, so she grabbed her toe herself and pulled it and set it. I was freaking out, I couldn't watch it, it was crazy. But I guess that's why she's got the, the skills to be a doctor. I can't, I'm squeamish, I don't like blood, needles, I don't like any seeing that stuff. She, she wants to see everything, so I can't do that. All right, folks. Well, listen, I want to keep this going longer than we need to. Uh, if you have any questions on the DSH, hit me up, personal message on Messenger. I'll, I'll answer any questions that you have. And uh, if there's you know anything I can do for you, please always reach out to Smoking with Bob because I'm here for you. I'm here for the community. I love Hookie University. It's a family. And uh, we're very, very lucky to have each other here. And it's a great group of people. We're growing tremendously, close to the 5,000 mark I'm hearing, and uh, which is absolutely crazy to think how far we've come in such a short time. And uh, I'm just really, really happy. We've got a lot of new faces here. And uh, hopefully, um, you know, uh, as, as the community grows and everybody starts to learn more and more uh, and becomes more enthusiasts, Type smokers that's that's the beauty of this group you know to make people enthusiast smokers not just you know pick up a, a, a hookah from a lounge not really knowing because we're here to learn and and that's why we're called university so we can teach everybody the finer skills and the finer things of hookah and we want everybody to have a great session all the time and smoke well uh, never be afraid to ask your questions no matter how silly or stupid they may sound to you and they may have been asked a million times, but go ahead and ask. And also, if you've got if you got a question about something in Hookah University, when you're in the Hookah University page, if you go to the search bar, type in what you're what you you're thinking about. Ninety nine percent, you're going to pull up the same questions been asked a hundred times over with answers. So instead of waiting for for an answer, if you start a new post and wait for an answer, the answer may already be listed there. More than likely, if you Post, you know, if you go in the search bar and put your uh, your question in there, you're going to probably see the same question asked by somebody else with lots of answers. So uh, you, instead of waiting and waiting to see, you know, everybody has an answer for you. So that's a little tip for you all. Go in the search bar and put your question in there. Sure, Hank. Thank you for coming on. I really appreciate you, brother. All righty. Well, let's wrap this session of Smoking with Bob, the DSH Heavy Review. I appreciate you all coming and joining me live. Love you all. Be safe out there. Be kind to each other. And uh, the election's coming up. Don't forget to vote. Every vote counts. All right. Be good, buddy. Take care.